Hi everybody, this is Tiffany. I hope everyone's having a great day. I came on to get a prophetic word. So guys, um, I had this dream like a week ago and the dream was the guy from upstairs. He was taking out his trash and it was like on a pulley. So he kept on going back and forth from, through my front door. So I was standing at the front door and I kept peeking out to see where he was going. He was going to the trash, then going back past my door, going to the trash, going past my door. So I kept peeking my head out just to see what was going on. And then right when he was coming back with the empty pulley, I tried to close the door and lock it, but then it wouldn't lock. And then, um, and then it switched. So it was like, I felt the evil when he was coming back and then it's like I felt the evil when he was coming back and then it switched to being in the spirit because then it wasn't the guy or the house or the door or the trash anymore. It just was an attack coming towards me in the spirit, you can say, because usually when you're um, being attacked, sometimes you don't see the attack and sometimes you're just being attacked. And that's when you start praying for the Lord to get you out of that hole that whatever evil presence is there trying to um, trying to to hold you down, if that makes sense. So I could actually see it, see the evil. I didn't feel the evil. So it's either you can see the evil or feel it. So I saw it and I started to pray. So it was still at a distance from me. I started to pray and it just got smaller and smaller and then I woke up. So pretty much what the Lord is saying, because I was watchful, because I was at the door watching the person, this is a physical uh, watch being watchful and spiritual being watchful. The thing is, the person upstairs, I don't trust in the physical. So the Lord is showing physically and spiritually, you have to be watchful because this is for people to be watchful because there's a, there's an attack coming. But the thing is, it could be a physical or a spiritual attack, but it's going to be stemming from the spirit, if that makes sense. So I just need everyone to follow me regarding the spiritual and physical, because this is actually very, very important. I thought this was just for me, but the Lord is not letting me let it go. And that's why I'm here today. So right before I turn the camera on, walketh in darkness came to me. That wasn't there when I was going over it over the message for you guys so walketh in darkness comes from psalms 91 if everyone doesn't know what psalms 91 is look it up and pray this before you go to bed so being watchful i'm going to read what watchman on the wall is and being watchful in prayer means um because this is specific and everyone needs to be specific because because this attack is coming if you're not watchful you're gonna uh the, the attack is going to be successful the reason why it wasn't successful for me is because i a went to bed late that night I prayed before I went to sleep and because I was at the door I was watchful that night as well so what the Lord is calling in this season for everyone to be watchful meaning in prayer so not fluffy prayers before you go to bed meaning attacking things before you go to bed you can read Psalms 91 but you also have to be specific in what the Lord has already showed you in your life attack that before you go to bed meaning like say um, the Lord was telling you X Y and Z in your life and this is something that um, people have been coming at you with or something that has been you've been struggling with in your life you attack those things because that attack is to re uh, reinstate whatever it is that you've been breaking on your fast or whatever the Lord has uh, released from your life physically and spiritually. So those, those prayers that you pray, you have to speak a thing in order for it not to take place. So this is what the Lord also uh, revealed to me regarding evildoers. They do not sleep well unless they cause someone to stumble. So because of that, then while every the believers are sleeping, you have to make sure that you're not just going to bed without praying over yourself, praying over your home, praying over whatever it is that you have going on. You have to make sure that you're covering these things because they're attacking these things while you're sleeping. So because of these attacks that's coming, you are now aware of these attacks and then now you can get um, more revelation from the Lord and how you go about that. But definitely praying Psalms 91. So what I'm going to do is read where it says, I'm going to start from five and then I'm going to just read it to 11. So this is something you want here from five to 11. It says, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. So that's what the Lord, um, before I press record, walketh in darkness right here. So um, the pestilence means 
plague or disaster. So just you have a ballpark figure on what the Lord is pinpointing here. Pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Remember, I said I seen the attack. I didn't feel the attack. So this is why the Lord is really specifying this scripture here, this passage here, because thou has made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall not, there shall no evil befall thee, nor shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee and keep thee in all thy ways. So the Lord is sh showing here that if you stay on, um, stay at your post, if you stay watchful, then is nothing that the enemy or evil doers will be able to do. What is a watchman? A person assigned to watch, guard. The characteristics of a watchman, they alert the leaders and citizens inside the walls of traders coming with goods as well as warn of enemies coming to attack. So it says the watchmen saw farther and sooner than anyone else. They played a vital role in the safety and security of their cities and nations. So I don't know if anyone here has been called for being a watchman on the wall. Obviously this message, you can spe you can say that um, me alerting you guys is letting you guys know ahead of time. That's like a watchman, but for also for you guys to be watchful. So yesterday when I was just jotting this down, seeing what I would get when the Lord confirmed this message is not just for me, it's for you guys. Then I had to really sit down to see what he wanted me to say to you guys. So what was the scripture here? When I said be watchful, be, uh, 1 Peter 5, 8, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a Roman lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So the Lord is calling for everyone to be watchful because this is um, evil atmosphere. I wrote down because of the darkness here, evil atmosphere and evil people. So this is what's going on right now. And this is where the attacks is coming from. But the attacks is definitely coming. And um, it's uh, the, the Lord wants people to be aware of physically and spiritually. So because the person that I was watching go back and forth here, I have to watch this person. And then I had a spiritual. Well, the attack was trying to attack me spiritually. You have to be watchful in two. You have to be watchful spiritually and physically. So be watchful here in the physical and be watchful here in the spirit in order for you not to get touched. The Lord has incant angels, but remember, we still have to be watchful. You still have to suit up with the whole armor of God. You still have to read your word, which is the sword of the spirit. So you still have to equip yourself with the knowledge the Lord gave you in order to be successful. So you still have to do your part, even though you're protected, if that makes sense. So um, I think that's it here. I'll just read this clip right here that I got from this article online the watchmen are god guardians and therefore called to watch and pray as a watchman you don't pray based on feelings you stay sensitive to the holy spirit's leading and respond quickly to his moves a prayer warrior takes up the mantle as watchman by rejoicing in hope and preserving in tribulation romans 12 12 and praying without ceasing first thessalonians 5 17 that doesn't mean you don't do other things it does mean that prayer is always on your mind. So I don't know if people have been called to be prayer warriors as well, but if that's the case, then you have to get on your post. You have to start praying for others. You have to start doing what the Lord called you to do because what you can see or what you do with your prayers, what you say will help them um, in their walk. So you have to do your part as a watchman. This is on the other side of you just being watchful. If you're called to be a prayer warrior or a watchman on the wall, you need to get on your post because you need to pray for people or you need to alert people when they need to be praying for themselves. So um, I have another message, guys. I had a vision yesterday, so I'm not gonna combine the two. So I'll look out for two messages. I hope this message helps somebody. I love you guys and I'll see you guys soon. Lord willing, and be blessed. Bye.